What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about writer's block, right? So what is writer's block? The previous video I talked about what I do when I'm not feeling inspired to make music, all right? So not feeling inspired, is it the same as writer's block, all right? We're gonna discuss that in this video. If you watched that video, I talked about the things that I do when I'm not feeling inspired to make music. When I say when I, I'm not feeling inspired to make music, it's not really writer's block. It's just that I don't feel like want to work anything related to music at the time. So I create a few exercises that I do, like creating presets. You know, I will do something that is actually productive, but not actually actively making music. All right. So the reason why I do that is to make sure that I'm not wasting my time doing stuff that's really not important like watching Netflix or going out, partying and stuff like that. So I want to use my time in a productive way and at the same time, I don't want to make music, right? I do feel drained sometimes and if that's the case, I usually just stop doing anything related to music. I just go out or sleep or eat something, right? So in this video, I'm not going to talk about what I do when I'm not feeling inspired. In this video, I'm going to talk about writer's block. You won't have writer's block after you watch this video. I don't get writer's block. I just don't. Because I regularly practice certain exercises to cultivate my creativity. All right. I've trained my brain since I was young to ensure that ideas flows to me effortlessly and naturally. And this is actually an exercise and you have to commit to doing this every single day. I've never experienced writer's block for days or months. You know, I've seen some people talk about it like they will have writer's block for a long time, you know, like months. And even professional, like I've seen uh, in one of the videos of Junkie XL that he mentioned, he was uh, not feeling inspired for a couple of days or weeks or something like that. It's kind of like long time. So in that video, he just talked about what are the things that he will do when he's having writer's block. Neuroscience or neuroplasticity, what they explain is that whatever we do on a regular basis we're actually kind of creating certain neurons in our brain right i'm not going to go into technical right now but what I'm, what I'm saying is that whatever we do regularly right we will create some kind of pathway in our brain right some people call it muscle memory so the more you cultivate a certain activity or exercises on a regular basis that will become your, your nature right Okay guys, I'm so sorry it's raining right now, it's kind of really heavy, so I hope you guys don't mind hearing all these noises in the background. So this is the exercise that I do every single day. I've never experienced writer's block for days or months. It's not that I'm special, or maybe I am, but I believe that anyone who practice cultivating this habit will become the most creative person they can be. Trust me, this habit will improve the quality of your life in many areas not only with your musicality it's going to help with a lot of different areas of your life right so let's check out how we can cultivate the art of creativity to have an endless supply of ideas you must stop doubting all your ideas so whatever ideas has come to you whether it's good or not don't doubt it let it come to you right don't reject your idea and sometimes you'll say oh this idea i don't know it sucks I don't want to do this. I don't want to pursue this idea or proceed with this idea, right? Don't ever do that. Don't reject it. And also don't neglect your idea. For instance, sometimes you will have a certain idea and it's going to keep popping in your head. It's like a noise all the time. If that's the case, don't neglect those ideas. It is very important that you don't neglect it. Because the more you neglect or reject or even doubt your ideas, now the brain feels like, oh, I don't want to give this guy any more ideas. So every time you get an idea, just note it down. So for instance, let's say a melody idea, right? So I'm hearing some melody in my head. I will quickly record something, right? I don't care if this is a hit song idea or it's just some, some stupid idea, okay? I, I don't care. <laughs> All I do is whatever comes in my head, in my mind, I'm going to record it right away. By doing that every day, what I'm training myself is to always be aware of these ideas circulating in my mind. So the more I do this, the more idea will come to me. Any ideas that comes, don't ever doubt it, 
rejected or neglected. Make sure to record those ideas so that you are actually cultivating this habit of documenting your ideas. You have to make sure that you value this idea by recording it down or writing it down, right? So this can be a melody idea or a song concept or a songwriting like lyrical ideas or what, whatever. Make sure you always write it down. The more you do this, you're actually training your brain to see ideas. Let's say I'm in the studio now writing a song. I will go and check my phone if see if there's any interesting ideas there, right? So let's say I, I compose a couple of chord progressions and I have a certain mood already created for that kind of music. Now when I look at the lyrical ideas that I've written, I will see whether, okay, this idea matched the vibe that I'm looking for. Then I just take that and develop from there, right? So this is important if you want to have endless supply of creative juices, all right? So to recap, do not reject, neglect, or doubt your ideas. So this is one, one of the exercises that I do every single day to ensure that my creative juice is flowing endlessly, right? The next thing you must be aware of about writer's block is writer's block happens because you're seeking perfection, okay? Why you are seeking perfection is because you are afraid that your music or arts is actually not good enough, right? You're seeking validation from other people. That is dangerous. If you want to keep doing that, you are not going to have any more creativity. You're going to feel drained for months, right? So don't seek perfection. Perfection doesn't exist. Now we know that perfection is going to lead to writer's block, okay? So what we can do? Okay, being perfectionist is a good thing. Like you want to give a proper, a good product to your audience or the people that loves you, right? But what happens is we always going to hear or see something is wrong with the, the art that we have created, right? So you must be aware that we are human and being imperfect is who we are. We are always imperfect. Okay, when you understand that, you will understand the music that you create is imperfect but that is fine it's okay to be imperfect right but i'm not saying i'm not saying don't chase excellence right make sure you work hard to reach the level that you want to be however don't seek perfection in everything that you do when it comes to art or anything for that matter so seeking perfection in everything is going to kill your creativity so that's the simple explanation about writer's blog. I, I hope you guys understand what I was actually trying to say. So to recap, first thing that you need to do is always embrace your ideas, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. It doesn't matter. Just accept it. All right. Second, don't try to be a perfectionist. Don't try to be perfect. Enjoy the process of making music or making art. Enjoy the process. Live in the moment and don't seek validation from external source so that's it for today guys i hope you guys find this video helpful if you guys did please make sure to subscribe turn on notification and smash the like button thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video